<laughs> G'day and welcome to our look at Canvas on mobile devices. All right, you may have heard of Canvas before. Uh, it has proven to be a fantastic learning tool for us. But what we're really wondering here and wanting to highlight is, well, how does it actually work for mobile devices? So to start with, let's, let's just state it is a web-based system. So what you're seeing here is actually just in the browser, uh, Safari on uh, an iPad to start with. Um, and look, you can do simple navigating and simple edits on there. It's a bit clumsy, but overall it's not too bad. Um, where it's really starting to step up though is in apps for iOS and for Android. So I'm showing the iOS app here. Um, the app is really pretty cool. Um, it's maturing really nicely. The updates are always well worth a read. Um, but the app is really geared nicely for discussions where you can embed photos. Uh, well, let's have a look. So here, if I open this sandpit, okay, um, and you'll see in discussions that, all right, when uh, participating in discussion, all right, you can embed photos, audio, video. I did this one a little bit earlier on it, but you see in the reply, okay, I can type away as I want. All right, you get the gist, but then a little attachment sign, and you can see I can do a whole lot of bits there, record audio Australian and so on. So it's pretty neat as well. Where everything really heats up though and really gets going is when we start to look at files and uploading files and so on. So within the course, I can see here that there's been an assignment written here. So it's just upload a document via the Canvas app with a mobile device, any sort of document. So um, this document could be an explain everything, keynote, um, all sorts of things it could be. So I'm going to, uh, I could upload from pages, keynote, explain everything, Dropbox, Google Drive, there's all sorts. Now I know that I've got an app, a document ready to go in Notability, right, which is one of my favorite apps, all right. And what I'm going to do here is that most apps now you can actually open in and choose Canvas. So at the top, you'll see that there's the out arrow. When I click that, I get the option that I can you know, choose where I want, but the one down the bottom here is the beauty. Open another app. When I click that, you'll see I've got open note in, and one of the options is Canvas. When I click Canvas, it compiles that for me. All right, it says file received, is ready to submit to assignments. I go OK, and I submit it. And the type of submit I'm doing here is a file upload, and it's already just saved my file. That file is just on, is saved there. So I click on it and I submit. And it's gone through now and it's actually submitted my file to be marked by my teacher. You can see I've got grade and speed grader there as well. It's because I'm in as a teacher and as a student. The, uh, the other place that you can upload files, you can see at the top here is files. All right, when I click files, uh, and over on the left, the little cogs, I click the cogs and you'll see that I can upload a file. All right, and same way, I could have opened it in already from an app, so like pages or something and open it in. Uh, I did before, I said I opened pages, went open in Canvas and I made this little document there. So I can click on that and I could upload that straight in as well. So saving documents into your page, uh, submitting assignments, uh, going for um, discussions all works really quite nicely within this app. So it's well worth a try. Um, we're really looking forward to seeing the progress in a bit further, but overall it's really getting there. It's maturing nicely. So enjoy.